A note on a bad day at Black Rock. A fantastic, wonderful film with um, Spencer Tracy in the leading role, John McCready. Uh, it's his name in this uh, work of art. Uh, the cast is stellar indeed. There's also Ernest Borgin in, in a supporting role and uh, D. Marvin. And um, John McCready arrives in this uh, small place, small town called Black Rock and it is already uh, an extraordinary event because the train has stopped there only four years ago so his arrival is uh, outlandish and um, the locals are very unfriendly to say the least in fact they start uh, with unfriendliness and they move gradually towards aggression and it becomes clear that they want to get rid of this uh, unwanted visitor. I will not say what happens at the end, uh, it's just that early in the beginning we, we know something's wrong and pretty soon we know it's uh, this dark secret, secret is so serious that uh, they will stop at nothing to uh, keep uh, in order to keep uh, the foreigner from finding and once he found out something that's again uh, a bit obvious uh, early on uh, to keep him there with his secret and all when he goes to the hotel uh, they explain unfriendly in an unfriendly manner again that uh, this is the place for those who come with cattle and that's there's nothing for him when he tries to call the lines are busy so everything he tries is a failure more or less even if we're talking about and that will show about a superhero a man who has only one arm that he can use and is better than Superman, the ultimate Ubermensch. Uh, grit, resilience, determination, courage, coolness, uh, control, calm. This man has everything, even if he is faced in this uh, God forgotten, uh, God forsaken place uh, in the middle of nowhere. There's no one he can help, who can help him and he seems to be surrounded by enemies. Gradually, one then another one of these people may think differently. We don't know yet, but they show some signs of humanity at least. He manages to rent a jeep to get to this place where a Japanese man lives, or so John McCready thinks. He doesn't find him, he finds though uh, wildflowers and he makes a statement at one point saying that uh, wildflowers tend to grow on graves when he's provoked in a in an eatery uh, something like a um, fast food joint uh, by a, a character portrayed by Ernest Borgin who is a stocky heavy powerful man um, he avoids confrontation they call him chicken ah you don't what if i tie my arm to my back what if i oh, fight you with no hands ah you're yellow and things like that he pours all the ketchup in his dish and attacks finally attacks uh, mccready and mccready in one of the best fight scenes i've ever seen i mean I, i'm not in into uh, what's going on now uh, with Iron Man fighting, I don't know who. Uh, Batman versus Superman. So I, but the fights I've seen, this, well, the fights I've seen, this is one of the best, in which, as you know by now, you can imagine, John McCready uh, beats the hell out of his uh, aggressor with one hand. And this guy keeps pushing, keeps coming, 
heavy, powerful man, his opponent, but McCready with incredible skill, force, speed, acumen, he is uh, victorious. Incredible self-restraint, knowing what he's capable of, he, he avoided confrontation always, until he was just on the point of being struck, he acted. And now the question is, uh, what will happen next? Because um, it is clear at this point that uh, the local uh, uh, self-appointed viceroy, a man who acts like a mafia boss, wants him dead. Uh, the secret is now clear, even if I will not say it. And then the question is, will McCready escape? Will they just put him down and bury him with their secret? It's a fabulous film that I strongly recommend.